Yeah, what? And, uh, what? Cody what? just turned 29 the other day. Congratulations. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Congrats Thank on you. that. Thank you. Yes, many thought I couldn't make it, and here I am. <laughs> also, uh, don't be distracted by that. My mom assured me. Yeah. No, it's it, calling to my me. My mom assured me it's, it's oregano and some other plant she's growing. Oh, Suspe I thought that was I'm, I wasn't, I wasn't oh, suspicious yeah. before, but I am now. Yeah, yeah, I think you might be lying to me. That might not be oregano. If I'm lying to you, that means my mother's lying to me. I'm oh, man. Me. But it's just what, a cycle of violence and lies. Yeah. yeah. That lighting, though, like, that's kind of, I like it. it Honestly, is, like, it's, I yeah. like it. I assume it's supposed to be UV rays that it's either mimicking or producing. Um, and the only thing stopping that from, I assume, me... <laughs> is what I can only describe as a very small amount of plastic around mm -hmm. it. So Thick. well, that's that's science, baby. Yeah, it if I turn science. into mango, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> <laughs> just vibrating. I'm just gonna get like the hyper get, radiation real blurry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it has been it's been about three weeks. Does anyone can anyone tell me what happened last time? No. I like actually just came like came to the horrific realization i don't remember what, what happened last should time. i should i please okay yeah there we go you guys ready for this yeah yes all right you guys descended down into the bottom of heart and stone and found what i can only describe as the world's shittiest laboratory Oh, that's right. Gun squirrel with gun. They're stupid. Squirrel with gun. And then you guys kept making me like you were like, <laughs> yeah, let's continue the tour. And I was like, I only had like squirrel with gun. That was <laughs> that was supposed to be it. That was the end of that. Um, and we kept going for a little while with that whole thing. What was most important is that you also all got into a bit of uh, a bit of a shenanigan with the creature again. Sp oh, I remember where we are. Okay. Yeah, Spungus X, uh, Spinglob X. Specimen subject. Oh, you. Oh, now who doesn't remember? Me. <laughs> it's been three weeks. <laughs> Which one sounds more ridiculous? That was the one you chose. <laughs> I think it was Subject X. <laughs> I think it was Subject X because we went through species, specimen, and Subject X. Yeah. And I was getting stuck between specimen and species. But then you were like, it's actually subject. And I was like, ah, oh, beans. <laughs> it's um, fine. He's the silver surfer forever. Yeah. And so basically what, what I think really the fight boiled down to so far is a lot of you guys just got tossed around, just like <laughs> thrown around, grabbed, gooped. Um, oh, and boy. at a convenient stopping point that we did three weeks ago, the creature evolved a little bit and got these two giant spike fisty balls, much like the spikes that killed Scotty P Man Motions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. He's about All to right. beat us to death. Yeah, this is it. This is my total player kill episode. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, we're just going to, I think, go back to the top of the order unless anyone remembers who was who went last. Nope. That's great. That's great. That's fantastic. Well, Cosmo, that would be you. Fuck. All right. Um, <laughs> just had to speak up, didn't you? <laughs> uh, all right. I know I'm. I think I'm standing in front of Ozma, a little bit away from the monster with my gun. I believe that is the case. Uh, all of you, to the best of my recollection, when the creature kind of like went into phase two of its Dragon Ball Z transformation sequence. Mm -hmm. um, all gooped parties were kind of set free temporarily. That is, yeah. Yeah. I, I okay. Leave Chris pulled Wilbur out. Or yeah, I think Chris pulled. Picture of Iris pulling Chris pulling Wilbur out. Something there was, like there was, was like a, was there a was chain. Like a chain. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, Cosmo, what would you like to do? I'm gonna shoot it. How many times? Twice. I'm gonna okay. I'm feeling lucky. Oh. No, I'm not. But I'm hoping I am. Okay. Oh. That sounds good. Okay. One of them was an 80 and the other one was a 20. So, oh, actually both of those hit. Wow. That's okay. incredible. So here's how we're going to resolve this. Um, your first bullet is actually 
swatted away with lightning reflexes by one of the metal hands, and the other one catches it. So you can go ahead and roll one one damage boy. One damage boy. One damage boy. Ozma's up next. Does Ozma have a weapon? I kind of feel like Ozma did not have a weapon. I don't think Ozma had a weapon because she was constantly admonishing us for having a gun and fighting things. <laughs> that sounds weird, about right. The chiefs of security, you would think that would pretty much be like the thing to do. Uh, mm-hmm. That's a five for damage. Okay, great. So you uh, you shoot another bullet into this monstrosity. You guys do have bear spray, though. Who took the bear spray? Oh, I have a one bear spray. Uh, I think I might have. I have one as well. And who had, who mean, took the beanbag shotgun? I took the beanbag shotgun. You took the beanbag shotgun. Chris has got the beanbag shotgun. Okay. Ozma turns towards Cosmo and says, "Give me, give me the, give me the spray." I hand her the spray. Okay. She runs up and says, "Die!" That 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 peaks. <laughs> die! 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 <laughs> just, <laughs> just starts like fucking blasting. Oh, uh, there's a family resemblance. <laughs> um oh okay all right she does she sprays this thing uh in the eye it looks like it does very little damage (laughs) oh i was Um, like she she maced it (laughs) but you watch the the vertical eye like tear up with with like bad bear vibes what am i trying to say right now you okay (laughs) straight straight bear poison directly into the cornea straight bear poison we took two weeks off, and apparently I've completely forgotten the entire English language. That's that happens. About That's that. crazy. It is crazy. What Chris, you you're trying? up next. Chris, right. make some sense of this situation. <laughs> Chris is here to make sense of the situation with a full-fledged beanbag shotgun that he's going to blast all up into the, the, the thing. I would love nothing more than for this thing to get beaned. Can can I bean this thing? Can you bean this thing? Multiple yes. times? Um... Hold on, it didn't. I didn't get a number of attacks for that one, so I don't know if I can do it multiple times. But know. I'll take one. What's the, what's the reload time on a beanbag shotgun? It's probably like a, you know, like it's probably not that bad. Yeah, if it's if it's pump action, which most think, of them are. Yeah, I think yeah. you probably get two shots off. Oh, I'm taking two shots. Okay. Is it a Please. disadvantage for the second one? Mean it. All all of them have disadvantage. Sickening. You know, that's crazy, because that was a 2 and a 7 for the first one. Okay. And that's a 1 for the second. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, okay, no, it's a 47. So uh, so it, a 7 and a 47. Let me check okay. what that is real fast. Yeah. Probably a good, probably a good, yeah. Uh, success and extreme success. Okay. Uh, tell me I gave you damage. Yeah, you did. 1d8. Oh, okay, that sounds about right. All right, go ahead and yeah. uh, pelt this thing. If for some beans, a one d eight sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> this, this uh, for one or two, bean. is it is it both? Yeah, damage for both. All right, so I'm gonna run. Uh, I'm gonna run up and say, "Get beaned on," and I'm gonna do eleven damage. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> get get yeah. beaned on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, the creature specimen species subject X is up next. Also known as Scotty Liquid Metal Motions um, and Silver Surfer, everything else we've ever called it. This creature starts flailing wildly. Ozma did some major blinding to it. But Cosmo, yeah. you are about to get wackled. What would you like to do oh, as a uh, giant metallic spiky fist comes slamming towards you? Uh, Cosmo's mid, like, and then just, uh, I'm going to dodge. I don't okay. know what to do with that. That's some dodging. Yeah, so why don't you go ahead and roll dodge. Uh, I don't remember if that's good or not. That was. I got a regular success. Okay. For its second action, Iris, you are also going to have that oh, happen to you. Only. Well, you know what that means. Are you also going to dodge? Yeah. Okay. Where's the D? Oh, I found him. Not rolling well with this thing. Mm-hmm. Well, taking all the, taking all the okay. luck back. I'm well, that's it. that's okay because I failed that roll. So, oh, you did, uh, Iris. Yeah. No, you can't afford to get sh- blobbled. I'm give yeah. me luck. Uh, uh, I I'm you know I'm absolutely a hundred percent tough guying that. Uh, no matter what, as good luck. Yeah. All right, remind me, how does tough guy work? Uh, 
10 luck to shrug off up to five damage around. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. So let me just tell you what's about to happen. Oh, boy. As this thing is flailing, Iris, you get whacked. Uh, you definitely feel one or two of those spikes pierce straight through you. Um, you are going to shrug off five points of damage and only take five points of damage. Thank goodness. Oh, Wilbur, don't get smacked. Don't you have like two points of health left? Oh, stronger than that. Don't you worry. But also, yes, I don't want to get smacked. Thank you very much. All set. Guys, I need <laughs> Hoppital after this. Hoppital. <laughs> I yeah, you're... Chris, Chris laughs at you. <laughs> <laughs> you're like slamming Guys. through the uh, squirrel with I'm gun laughing, whiteboard. but there's, there's blood everywhere. Oh, oh, that's actually so... not there. That's not that funny, oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. no, Cosmo's just like freaking out. Hop it all. It's just the shock. Don't worry, it'll pass. <sighs> the uh, blood or the shock? What? What? The <laughs> oh, okay. The shock of blood? <laughs> oh, no, no, that'll stay with you for a couple of years. Yeah. Ooh. Therapy? All right. While you're all laughing about Hopital and therapy, uh, <laughs> Osmo gets fucking clocked. Oh, oh no. no. Um, Are you okay? Clocked, right? Not like bodied? <laughs> um, clocked very badly. And uh, oh. I just want to let you know the creature critted. Um, oh, gosh. I guess so, you don't have to worry about if she's a twin or not. <laughs> so Ozma, um, well, this is a little fucked up. Ozma is actually not going to be launched backwards like Iris is. Ozma is going to be stuck to the creature. Oh, oh Ozma is screaming! Instantly Ooh. knocked out. You cannot currently determine what the state of Ozma's well-being is. I do. Ozma I also hospital. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> We're getting out of here now. Uh, oh Iris, my God. you are up next. Oh boy, man! You know yeah, I do you, own you a sawed-off shotgun. That wasn't one of you. I've been rolling a dice for each attack because this thing is blinded. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh. I, I, I cannot recall if I have my sawed-off shotgun with me, but it doesn't typically make sense, does it? Um, Well, I gave Chris his musket. Oh, we did go back to our rooms, huh? Yeah. We did go back we to We went back rooms. to get our stuff. I, I, do, I do keep forgetting that that literally happened. Yeah. I guess I'll use that then. Okay, you pull out your sawed-off shotgun. I'm shooting it. You're shooting it. How many shots does that thing get, and how many are you doing? Um, two. Okay. For Is both. that okay? That, 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 <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm doing both of them. Mm -hmm. So that first one doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, but the second one does, just barely. Okay. I actually want you to roll uh, damage for both, please. Sure. <laughs> I that's that's so scary. Dude. Can I aim away from Ozma? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, hang on, just, just one thing, just one thing at a time. I would just like to specify I that before I accidentally I, blow her away. Why, why, would uh, give, why would you give me a sister and then murder her? Immediately. Because <laughs> lols. Right. <laughs> for the lols. I'm going to need so much therapy. All well, for the, the, the fun part of this is that it does 46 damage. Yeah. Good. Oh. But hopefully um, not. <laughs> she's using the fuck shot. So the first one is 16. Okay. And the second one <laughs> is also 16. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. So the so the reason I needed you to roll both of those damages anyway is because my my luck ran out and uh subject X fumbled trying to <laughs> avoid that. <laughs> I got one. I got one crit, and then immediately I got a ninety-nine. So you know, there we go. Yep, it's the that would, uh, of the universe. The universe is aligned again. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, so we had a good run, didn't we, Subject X? We had a good run, you and me. Oh my god! Um, you you run up to this thing, Iris, and you unload your pump action or your uh, sawed-off shotgun. Reload, fire it again. I need everyone oh, oh. to roll dodge. Oh, oh. 
Oh, wait, did you say everyone rolled dodge? Everyone rolled dodge. Oh, I thought you uh, said dumb Oh, thank God. All right. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. that's sadder. Sex ass. Success. <laughs> oh, boy, I can't wait to see what this damage is. I got the opposite of the other two. <laughs> What? I'm gonna okay. call nine one one so fast. <laughs> did 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 anyone did, who failed? Anyone? No. You failed, Iris. Yeah. Okay. So, as soon as your first, actually, as soon as your first shot connects with the creature, you're like reloading and firing your second shot. In a matter of an instant, there's no like pizzazz with what's about to happen. It's like one second the creature is there. The next, about a dozen naked dead bodies explode <laughs> out of it and scatter across the room. Iris, you get clobbered by one of them Yippee. for Shit. four points of damage. Oh, up at all. Are you, are you still hanging in there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and so all of you, all of you, are basically on the floor of the lab, surrounded by, presumably, the dead bodies that you were sent here to retrieve. Wilbur also failed. Oh, did you? You also take four yeah. points of damage. How's Wilbur? Uh, I... <laughs> Breathing. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> I uh I know everyone's kind of fucked up right now. Can I scramble over to hopefully Ozma? Is yeah. Ozma still in here? Yeah. And is Oz she alive? Oh, yeah. Um yeah, you see there is blood pooling around her. Um and she kind of <coughs> Oh fuck. Oh my god. Ozma. What? Uh, or uh is there like how many wounds are there? Can I put pressure on like the worst looking one? Yeah, there's like four of them. Uh, which one looks the most critical? I'm putting pressure on that one. Um, straight through the Thank chest. You. Get on both sides. Of it. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. So we should um, we should just fuck off right now. We need to go to the hospital for all of you. I'm fine. I'm no, good. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Get Iris. Pick up Iris. Okay. Um, Here's a okay. here's a here's a fun question. I take out my camera that I own and haven't used in a while. Can I take a picture of these bodies so they show up? Ew, yeah, you can take a picture of the naked dead bodies on the floor and uh, sure seen... enough they they show up. Okay. Get questions. I just wanted to do that because if we're leaving right away, we're definitely not getting the body that we needed to get. Um But I want evidence that they were here before the Heart and Stone company and we can't find them again. Well, I have an idea for that. Um, Blala! Yes, Wilbur. As co-head of security, do not allow anyone to move or tamper with this crime scene. Roger that. What is the nature of the crime scene? Several dead bodies on the uh, ground. Oh. Mysterious at best. Roughly one dozen of them. Give I no, see. There's no nephew-sized bodies on the ground, are there? There's no nephew-sized body on the ground. Okay, good. He's in the vents, there, thank God. Is there, like, any other um, people? Like, does anyone look alive or, like, maybe alive? Are they all these dirty or just, like, straight-up dead people? They're not dirty. They're not dirty like the people you've seen on the other side. Oh, okay. Lola says... I am no longer detecting the level five temporal anomaly. That's good. That's fantastic. Lola, please send emergency... S well, wait, actually, hold on. Do we... Just tell the wait out front. We'll get up there in a second. Wait, if the, temp if the temporal anomaly is gone, L Lola, can you release the shutters? Can you open the shutters up back up? As acting heads of security, if that is in the best interest of the people, I will raise the shutters. Is the temporal five anomaly gone completely? Yes. Then yes, please raise the shutters. Raising shutters. I'm I'm doing it. It's hap it's happening in the background. It wouldn't. You're <laughs> very, so deep underground. I I was worried you were going to be waiting for it, but it just I, like it's happening. 
is uh is the elevator still in working order checking eh it'll it'll be fine <laughs> thank you blola um all right i'd like to start dragging or pick up ozma and start going to the elevator and i'm like chris can you pick up iris and or wilbur uh can i try to pick them both up no, don't worry about me i'll shuffle along i'll be right there I'm just... <laughs> I will sort through them later. On the way. Should we take one? Take them to the hospital. Do you not leave no, them here. It's a no, we're gonna leave team. them here. They'll be fine. Okay. Come back we... and deal with it later. Oh, well, while we're in the elevator, you want me to stabilize your pal there? Please, and please, whatever? yes, please. Okay, you want to calm down. The best part is not to panic. <laughs> I'm not good at that. Uh, can you roll we first know. aid? <laughs> Yeah. Are we going up now? Yes, the elevator is ascending. Oh, thank God. Okay, so Cosmo, do you want the good news or the bad news? I would like the good news. Okay, I succeeded by one. I got a 69. <laughs> oh, nice. What's the bad nice. news? <laughs> What's the bad news? I've never had to deal with a chest wound through and through before, but I'm sure I can deal with it like the rest of them. Sure you can. That's Dude. another pant leg gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take off my own pant leg. Cosmo will rip off theirs. Okay. There. With a a combination of pant legs, you kind of wrap Ozma up, and Ozma says, "This does not seem sanitary." Uh, Would you rather sanitary or alive? I don't know. I'd kind of rather be sanitary. <coughs> okay, maybe alive. Well, Shut up. <laughs> well, if you want sanitary, you're going to wait till we get to the hospital. If you want a live, you can have that now. The, you uh... often cough up like that? No. Okay, good to know. <laughs> um, the elevator shutters back up to the ground level, and you hear, there are several events that have transpired in your absence, heads of security. Oh boy, lay it on us. What happened? There has been a reported robbery, attempted robbery, and there is also a suspicious delivery man at the front gates. What is the suspicious delivery man delivering? Oh, uh, it might be picking up, actually. Okay, noted. What got stolen? A rod, a magical immovable rod, was attempted to be removed from Beluga Scrump's residence. Witnesses are currently him? being investigated. And do we tell anyone to do that? No, that means someone else is taking it. Like, well, you know what? It, are, is, is Beluga Scrump currently being robbed? No. Well. Really not. Get, find some security footage, figure out who <laughs> was the last one to be in contact with Did, did, you, who, did you? Can you notify or see who was uh, attempting to infiltrate the residence? Unfortunately, oh my god, that is a loud dolphin. Hit the ground. There's some loud dolphins <laughs> here. Unfortunately, security footage from around the time of the reported incident is blank. Okay, but are all the is every other guest accounted for and safe? Oh, should I call an ambulance? Yes, yes. please call set, like at least six, 16 ambulances. <laughs> okay, <laughs> dialing 16 ambulances. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a preference on which event you'd like to resolve first? Ambulance. Uh, us. <laughs> the ro uh, well, if the, if the ambulances are set uh, and the robbery's done, the delivery man can what? meet us at the ambulances. My nephew, where is my freaking oh, yeah, nephew? Let's go! <laughs> <clears throat> Call oh. the fire department or something, I don't know, to get them in the vents. <laughs> Jesus, how could you forget about my nephew? Don't be my... Sister Twin is bleeding on the floor. I just met her 20 minutes ago. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys uh, come out to the front. Um, morning is is finally starting to rise. It is, it is finally May 3rd. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> thank God. I just realized I need to, if I want to leave this scene, I got to go back and reload because i forgot to reactivate the buttons i'll do that in a little bit 
Uh, we're all fine here for now, I guess. And as you all trudge outside, carrying your bleeding and disgruntled team members, uh, you see 16 ambulances and a, a large truck. It it kind of looks like a blue hall, except that it's been crudely painted over with the words uh, Brad's body retrieval on it. At least they're subtle with it. <laughs> And uh, standing outside, uh, having a hearty conversation with um, Mr. and Mrs. Stone, you see broad-shouldered, short businessman in a suit who kind of waves as you guys come out and, like, motions for you to come over to him. Ask over. him to the ambulances. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. <laughs> I, oh, I got some no, words you know, for him. I, I'm actually, I, I, sorry, guys. Well, I just need to ask a quick question really fast. And yeah, I'd like to walk over to the Stones. Sorry, Oswald. Okay. Taking you with me. Yeah, you... <laughs> <laughs> so Did some of you start walking towards the ambulances uh, and just straight past this as you as you hear, hey, hey, there they are. I was just explaining to Mr. Stone here uh, about the uh, bodies that need to be removed. Yeah. Got to get them bodies. <laughs> yes. And uh, I, Mr. Stone, you have a wonderful team of security experts here. They, they informed me about... Um, the situation. Uh, don't worry, we're very discreet. I have a wonderful dumping ground. It's in like Wyoming. You've never even heard of it. Wyoming, the state, I mean. I mean, who has time to go there? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And Mr. Stone is like, you? You're, you're a smart man, Mr. Businessman in a suit. That's that's wonderful. Uh, hey, there they are. The shutters came back up. Am I adopted? <laughs> Willoughby <laughs> looks... To your left, Cosmo, where you are holding up the bleeding Ozma. His face drops. He looks to his wife and back to you and back to Ozma and back to you and says, Yeah, uh, yes. Yes, you were. Sorry about that one. What? Didn't... Why didn't you tell me? Also, why'd you hire my sister? And didn't tell me about that? Ozma's like, yeah, wait a second. You guys, like, paid for my education and got me an internship and then a job. You knew that, like, surely, surely you must have known that this was, like, kind of weird. Why, why did you say it like that? Like, adoption's an easy out. What? Well, it's not, sweetie. Adoption is very difficult. And, you know, there's a lot of people in the foster system, much like your sister there. He's, uh, she was adopted by another family. She's not in the foster system. Yeah, I'm an Erickson. <coughs> and also bleeding out, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, she like coughs the... all over Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get uh, wave down like one of the ambulances um, and put Ozma in it before stamping back over. Okay. In like a dramatic like hospital like ambulance scene, they're like pushing her away in the stretcher and she like grabs your arm. Maybe you weren't even trying to like run after her, but she grabs your arm, so now you're being like basically pulled. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm like coming with Osmo to the ambulance. <laughs> no, well like yeah, the and the paramedics are like, No, you can't ma'am, you can't come with. This is like she's like bleeding out and Osma says, Will you come visit me when you're done here? Yes, absolutely, I will. Okay, thanks, bye! And she lets go bye. of Bye! Don't die! Uh, and then I stand back over. Okay. Is she a clone? Sweetie, you were both adopted. Uh, we, we don't need to make more of a big deal out of this than it is. I don't, I don't believe you. Say, did you figure out what the source of that monster was? I heard I heard you used a birthday wish to promote all of your friends to heads of security, and then the shutters got raised, so I presume the situation was resolved. It certainly was. Um, so but what, thankfully, what now that Brad it? is... Oh, I don't know. Anyway, now that Brad is here... <laughs> I don't know, maybe if we can get a little more specific about things, I can. my memory will come back, but for the moment... Um, you just have a, a situation where a bunch of dead bodies um, were located. So now that Brad's here, um, Brad, can you just go clean up this mess? Yes, we are going to get right on it. Uh, say, Wilbur, Mango, can I speak to you guys separately? And then Wilbur has to go hospital. Yeah. Yep. By all means. 
Let's have yeah, a long, drawn-out conversation. <laughs> he, he starts leading you away um, towards an ambulance and says, I don't know how to thank you enough because truthfully, I think you and Mango were both absolutely incredible. I have several ideas on how to solve that problem, actually. Uh, number one, you're paying for all my hospital bills. <laughs> uh, that's reasonable, yeah. Great. Uh, number two, you need to not only collect all the bodies, but you also need to find a small child, <laughs> possibly in the vents. <laughs> don't ask which ones, I don't know. You just gotta go through them. Is there someone I should be speaking to about this? Probably like a fire department of some sort, but I figured you're gonna be cleaning out bodies anyways. Just like toss a couple in the vents, you know, see what they pop up with. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And also, you owe me, like, so much free airfare. <laughs> you told me not to bring a gun. Do you understand everyone else that I met for this team had several firearms? Yeah, no, they they love their guns, Team Bokeh. I swear to God, this is ridiculous. That's all, I think. Well, I'm happy to help. That is absolutely wonderful. Uh, well, this is, you know, this is the end of your first round. Um... A two-person team is a little unorthodox, but we have a lot of great missions lined up. Uh, you you can pick your team name now, too. And Mango says, wait, what? Uh, as, as much as I love hanging out with Mango, and we made a great team, this other team really seems like they, they could reuse my specialty. And if not that, then I can certainly just stay on as head of security. They seem to have a pretty good king here. Well, I... Uh, I wait, could be I'm like, you're inside man to the stones if you catch my drift. Yeah, Ma Mango hang. says, no, 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 hang, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. This was cool. I'm not doing this again, though. My life partner and best friend Mason died, and my new best friend and life partner Wilbur tried so hard to help me through this difficult time. Okay, this was a great adventure, and man, I am going to milk this cash cow for years, all right? The stones are like a tabloid's dream come true, but I'm not going on another adventure. Well, what the hell? This, I'm, this is not like some kind of lifelong commitment for me. I'm a free spirit. I'm Mango, motherfucker. Uh, and, and Mango Seems turns adamant. towards- I don't know. <laughs> Mango turns towards uh, you, Wilbur, and says, Wilbur, uh -huh. you are an incredible partner, but you are no Mason. Uh, thank you. And I, I, you're right. I'm not. And, and I'm sorry for your, your loss. Thank you. Yeah. You hang thank in you. there now. Yep. Yeah. You should probably also go to an ambulance. Yeah, that's a good idea. And he starts like waddling away bare assed towards one of the ambulances. He's already dressed for it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Brad, Brad says, so you, I'm sorry, you, you said you'd want to join Team Bouquet? Uh, it was like, a, you know, when they need some extra muscle or, or some, <laughs> some, some, some help along the ways, you know, like a. Like some sort of a, uh, what's the term? Uh, I forget the movie term because I'm old. Also, the person controlling me is kind of tired and can also think of it at the moment. <laughs> like a, a ringer. Like a... There it is. We got there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think, um, sure. Yeah. That's, I mean, nothing about this has been up to reflection game standards. So why start now? Uh, Let's get you to an ambulance, buddy. What do you say? Uh, yeah, that'd be good. I don't know if you've seen me, but I've been shot, beaten, trampled. Yeah, that so thing. How is your day going? Pretty good. Um, yeah. I had to quickly get a van, drive it across the country. Should have just bought it closer, but I had to get the paint job done. So now I'm here. Uh, that sounds, sounds rough. Sounds like a rough day. Anyways. Uh, yeah. 
Hey everyone, it's Max here, back by popular demand for your regularly scheduled ad break. What is up? Thank you so much for listening to The Reflection Game. It means the world to us that you're here and you're listening and you're hopefully enjoying it. Uh, thank you for supporting the show. Thank you for being a part of this. It's been so long since I've had to do a long one of these, so we'll see how it goes. If you are enjoying this, I do have to ask, it would mean the world to us if you would tell your friends about This Isn't Normal. That kind of support helps us out tremendously. I would say over 90% of our listeners were recommended by someone else. And it's that kind of word of mouth that uh, helps us spread the word of the show. And we'd be so, so grateful. There are so many great ways you can connect with us. And that's Discord. <laughs> I have... <laughs> Uh, if you're not following us on our Discord, you can find it. It's in every episode link on our YouTube. So if you're not a member of our community, I've got to ask. They are just an incredible group of people, and we would love to have you here. And another great way that you can support the show is by joining us on Patreon. We're on Patreon at patreon.com slash tincast. Your support helps to fund the show, keeps us going month to month. Uh, and we, of course, love our patrons so much. We offer a whole bunch of great benefits. Um, there's a $1 tier if you want to sign up and just stay in the loop on everything. This isn't normal. For $5, we do thank you uh, every week in the video credits with your name in the credits, and you also get access to all of our exclusive episodes. Now, if you're not familiar, we do release a bonus episode on Patreon every single month. In the last year, we've done some phenomenal little four to five part specials. We did season two abridged last year, which if you're a season two fan is a fun little adventure. Beth ran sort of... I've unofficially been calling it season 2.75 uh also known as the rat venture which is a handful of episodes that take place after the dissolution of order if you just can't get enough of anderson phoebe cornelius and atticus so there are a ton of great benefits for five dollars then for ten dollars a month we thank you each and every week normally at the end of the show but this week we're gonna do it right here in our ad break and that's why I would like to thank Mango, Amanda Krondar, Morgan Wolbrandt, Emmy Lynn Laderna, Smarties, Charlie Rose, Adam Carpenter, and our new legendary patron, Marco Malmstrom. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Please let me know if I'm not. Uh, thank you all for supporting the show. It means the world to us. It, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's about it. I won't take up any more of your time in the middle of this episode, so let's get back into the madness. Join us again next week for another episode of The Reflection Game as we begin to transition into another bit of rest and relaxation for Team Bouquet, much deserved, of course. And, uh, oh, that's interesting. Next week's April 1st on Monday. That's fun, isn't it? That's fun. We'll see you next week. Stay safe, drink lots of water, and most importantly, leave a comment and let us know if you want more of these, if you want more ad breaks. I'm happy to do them. Just let me know. Okay, we'll talk soon. Bye. And he, he turns back towards the rest of Team Bouquet and says, so what's this about a small child in the vents? Yeah. This uh, is nephew. That's my nephew. We got to oh. find him now. Like, go, like, goodbye. Sure. Uh, I got a few guys. They can start. Um, where, are the, where are the bodies? No, nah, Chris is Chris is running. Chris is running back in to find his nephew. He's going to crawl through the vents. Uh, on the negative 69th floor, there's approximately 10 or 11 bodies. The negative 69th floor? Yeah. Yeah, just, you know, like the subfloors. Uh, I go inside a little bit, um, where I th assume Chris is like hiking himself into a vent. <laughs> yeah, just like <laughs> kind of stuck actually because well, he's way too massive to fit. Well, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was actually a pretty good spot to start getting into vents. In the in the big main hall? Mm-hmm. Okay. Before we do that, um, I just drag Brad inside a little bit and I say, uh, Blola. Yes. Blola, this person right here, Bradford, uh, is the new head of the uh, dead bodies on the negative 69th floor investigation. Um, so uh, we hereby authorize you to release all of the bodies into his and his team's custody. 
Come along, Mr. Bradford, and I will escort you to the corpses. And uh, Brad is, like, looking around trying to find the source of this voice. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's powered by dolphin waves. Yeah, what? Dude, it's 2030-whatever. It's like, you gotta get used to this shit. 2033! <laughs> <laughs> um, and as you guys head back over to um, the courtyard, you see that uh, that big hole uh in the sky and um this was here that you could you could have gone in here from the beginning oh oh to be to, 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 let's go into the hole, go into the hole? did i guys... just go to the hospital yeah <laughs> i'm not coming with you i'm not yeah, yeah, too we, i ain't we, going into any ceiling it's, holes it's just it's... you two champs <laughs> all right so attendance I'm it's me ignoring my bullet wound ignoring my <laughs> bullet wound i crawl into the hole oh, oh no only one how nice my, <laughs> my parents did not give a fuck about my bullet wound. <laughs> <laughs> and uh as you enter into the underside of heart and stone this maze of ducks and vents um i need both of you to roll spot hidden oh ew, i, I hate this place the small child <laughs> yeah maybe like we'll see some like don't little fail. nike sneakers <laughs> don't fail edge. this one oh that's i got a hard success okay good same I, no i got an extreme success i'm sorry i got an extreme success all right noses to the ground like bloodhounds you start <laughs> poking and prodding through these vents around corners um and you pick up a trail of little goo prints little little goo marks oh. and Ew. you find this almost like a cocoon oh no a, a small uh, cocoon of metal goo uh, metal goo? Can I tear it apart with my bare claws? Yeah, can you roll strength? Yeah, of course. Can I assist in that? Yeah. I didn't fit past that. Oh. Uh, I got a hard success. <laughs> Alright, Cosmo, you tear helplessly uh, at this as Chris with his bare hands just starts, like, clumping it apart. And inside, you find Klaus. Oh, is he breathing? He is pale, almost blue. No. But he is breathing. Oh, oh thank oh. God. All right, ambulance time. I'm glad I called 16 of them. <laughs> and we need 15 for this kid here. <laughs> as you pull him out, Chris, you see that part of his leg, the bottom part of his right leg, mm -hmm. is goo. Ew, what? What do you mean it's goo? What he's does that gooing. mean, Max? He's, he's gooing. gooing. What does that mean? What? He's like made of goo? He's turning into this thing. We gotta take him back to the hotel. Oh. We gotta get your brother and we gotta go back to the hotel because if we take him to a hospital, they're gonna perform horrific experiments on this child. Oh my god, that is what, that's do we, not do good, we, Chris. Do we take his leg off? Should we just cut it off? I don't think so. What? I, I don't know. Can I wipe? Uh, can I wipe the goo away? Can I wipe the goo? Can I try to it wipe like it away? Firm? Uh, it is pretty firm. It's like a. Is he's made of goo? Like this part of him is made of goo now. No, like it's not just coated. It seems to be that way. It's not like twenty percent goo. It's like ninety-eight to one hundred. Like, How far up his leg is it? Not very far. It's maybe like, like halfway from the leg to the knee. Oh. Okay, well, they might they might have to super probably oh. amputate that. Oh, I'm Chris. I'm so sorry. Let's get let's get out of here. But we listen. Actually, uh. he's your family member. Do you want to take him to a hospital or do you want to? No, I, I need to find his father. Where? Oh, here, I'll carry the kid. How about you call call your your brother? I don't have my phone. What's your brother's number? Blah, blah, Chris. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> um all right i'm i actually might have you make a roll for this yeah because it's been I'll a few it. months you know like let me what, <laughs> no. what kind of role what kind of role is this i'm gonna say it's probably an intelligence role intelligence well that's not chris to, to know suit. your brother's number <laughs> that's not chris's strong suit oh actually he's pretty intelligent 
Chris is okay. Can you forget that you're 75? actually You're very wow. smart. You're very smart. Yeah. Well, intelligence my, is like street yeah. smarts. Oh, dude, I'm savvy. I run a I run uh, a fucking zucchini stand. I'm, I'm doing the, good. We have the exact same amount of intelligence. Yes, look at us. Well, yeah, I succeeded. Okay. Yeah. So you you rattle off your brother's number in Cosmo. You call and you hear, "Hello, uh, Mouse. This is Cosmo. We found your kid. Why am I in a closet, Cosmo? Why is he in a closet? I, you put him there because you were afraid of him. <laughs> anyway, I have uh, to Mouse. I say, oh, I don't know. Um, we Cosmo? found your son. We found you, your son. You found child. You found yes, Klaus. Yes, we found your child. I found. We found Klaus. Um, we really need to have a conversation with you, so I need you to get over the closet thing really fast. <laughs> get okay. over it. It's just... the, hey, um, that lizard is gone. Well, Garamo? You mean what the you mean lizard it's... we forgot to mention last episode? Yeah, that weird fucking lizard thing. Fuck. Oh man. Do you know what is happened there... to it? No. All right, I didn't We're do this though. Other... That's that's fine. I'm I'm sure that'll be fine. It's fine. We're not worried about him right now. We have a child. Uh, uh yeah, Mouse, can you can you like get yourself out of the closet? Or are you locked in? Do you hear? Get me out of here! Hey, hey! And you hear like a a door sliding, and you hear yeah, I can get out of here. Okay, wonderful. Um, can you bring our tall friend Bosco with you downstairs? Um, but can you meet us in the greenhouse? Or the green uh, room or whatever it is? Sure, I guess. I'll see you in a sec. Okay. All right. And you you're going where are you going? Back like yeah, just, just here? here? Yeah, yeah, in the greenhouse. Okay. Some privacy. Um, you see a, a mouse burst into the uh greenhouse and he says, Where is he? Here here. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mouse takes one. He holds him mouse. up like he holds him up like this, like he's like holding him up like a like a like, a like an artifact, oh. like a, yeah, like a pizza, like pizza a pizza. <laughs> and he says, "Oh, well, hang on." He tries to like wipe the the goo away, and he says, "Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, what's that?" <laughs> <laughs> he. It, all the color drains from his face, and he says, Chris, Chris yes. I need you to be 100% honest with me right now. Okay. You have been the shadiest motherfucker since you got Whoa. back into Little Rockefeller. Do you know anything about what did this? If if I knew anything, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be hiding it at this point. Like this, this, this no, I I don't know anything about this. Do you genuinely know anyone who can fix this? Uh, I don't know. Maybe who? Who? <laughs> Cosmos doing like this behind you, Chris. <laughs> like just hands on head in pure shock. Yeah. Just like, oh my god, and then just eventually like this, and then like stony face, like, this isn't my family. No, I don't, no, I don't know anybody. It's, I'm blanking, I'm blanking, I'm panicking. Can I nudge Chris? Yes, nudge him, what, what do you know? The hotel? The game? Can we, can we bring him to, like, can, to... We brought Greg Lee, we brought Hannah, we brought- Yeah, but like, can they fix this? Like, what? A doctor to probably can't, but like the magic, po the super magic people can probably are gonna they're know gonna, more about. They're gonna take his leg off. They might need to. What are you guys talking about? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is we need to figure this out. <laughs> the, the, but okay, okay, yeah, okay. Well, we can try something. We 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 can try something. What? We gotta go. We gotta go to the hotel. We gotta go to the uh, our, our what our hotel? Place in, Oh, we have a magical hotel that we stay at. It's got like a Blunken and like some pretty cool <laughs> stuff there, but that's, we're not going to fix them up at the Blunken. We're going to go <laughs> see the people that, uh, <laughs> this is a long story. We can explain it on the way, but we need to go now. Yeah, we have, we should probably go now, but long, long and short of it is they sent us here for a job. This happened. Hopefully they know more. 
but genuinely that was a monstrosity that none of us understand okay you look like you need a hospital who me and i look at my bleeding shoulder and i'm like oh <laughs> i forgot i got shot earlier that is true yeah i i need to take care of some arrangements here i i'll come with you if if you think you can help well um the worst that they can do is say we don't know how to help and then we go back to a hospital where they also probably won't know how to help fine um pick me pick me up outside of the store when you're leaving okay yep we will do that and he uh kind of takes the unconscious klaus and starts uh heading away his his legs look like they're pretty stiff from being shoved in a closet so he's kind of like shaking back and forth a bit uh as he exits Chris, are you okay <laughs> no <laughs> i haven't been involved with them in forever and now my nephew's gonna lose his leg like what what, what? yeah that's a pretty a lot uh-huh. yeah that's i d i shouldn't have involved them you know Ooh, okay. I think this was truly just really shitty circumstance of fate because you wouldn't have involved them if the stones hadn't ordered the clothes from the shop. You know, this was just, all of this really was just an accident. I hate your family. I hate my family too. <laughs> your family's and I, dumb and they suck and I hate I, them. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't actually think I'm adopted. I really went out there thinking I was adopted and now I I don't know what the I They're so stupid, Chris. <laughs> Chris I'm so stupid. Let's get out. I'm of here. so sorry, we gotta go. Let's leave. Uh, All right. Let's leave. We leave. We and, go. Uh, we, goodbye. Exit stage you, left. You guys exit stage left. And um, one by one, you're all brought into the hospital. And coincidentally, all of you, even Chris, are uh, assigned just like back to back to back to back hospital beds. <laughs> Why am I in the hospital? I, I didn't take any damage. I'm Wait, is, fine. Is Ozma in here too? Yes. Okay, good. I go sit next to Ozma, even though I was assigned to the hospital board. I'm like, hey, I came to visit. Uh, so, so all of you, Wilbur, Iris, Cosmo, Chris, just all strung out. Um, and that Cosmo, worked. you, you go over to Ozma, uh, who is like bandaged almost from head to toe. Oh. And is like, hey. Hey, how are you? Bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. I quit my job. Good. G- genuinely good. I think they're I think they're crazy. Yeah, I think they're pretty crazy too. I don't get it, Cosmo. What don't you get? Why? Why you and and not me, but they did they did so much for me. I thought they were recognizing my accomplishments and now it just feels like they just did it cuz I look like you and maybe we're related. Yeah, I don't I don't understand cuz I they, I I'm so sorry, but I I think they were just grooming you to replace me i mean i I want i I want you to know like there was and has never been any affection between my parents and me so i i truly think that if i if i genuinely was adopted it was through circumstance and the fact that i'm just five years older than you and when obviously i wasn't working out clearly they just wanted another one of us, I guess. You see um, her tears kind of well up and she wipes her nose and says, Sorry, So Asma. do you guys just like travel the country with this old man and like <laughs> find naked bodies? No, kind of, but yeah, kind of. Well, the old man's new. He's actually like really new. Uh, that, his name's Wilbur, by the way. Um, but we 
um, live in a magical hotel and um, are forced to play this game, which mostly just sends us places to do thir- th- to do things. And today's activity was collect a body, and it didn't go very well. I want to come with you. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, I'll make it happen. Or do you want to talk to your family? Like your family? Nah. Uh, they'll be fine all right well that uh, I you know what you know what you're right you're right i'm sorry hang on a second she picks up a phone oh. uh and says, mom dad hey i quit my job i'm going to a magical hotel no no i understand like, why man, you would think that, that would just like be you. doing drugs um apparently it's not doing drugs though uh hang on where's this hotel uh minnesota 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 yeah, I know what it sounds like, but they're telling me it's it's not drugs. Okay, yeah, I'll be in touch soon. Love you. And she hangs up and says, "Okay." Okay, I for for one thing, I've never done a drug. Yeah, I mean, like you're, one you're way too clear. old for that now, too. What? I don't. <laughs> Wilbur. Wilbur. <laughs> not, we're in a hospital, Wilbur. <laughs> We're on drugs right now. <laughs> she's a he's child. He's got a point. No, no, no. no he's got a point. <laughs> oh, she's she can't hear that. That's a bad influence. Okay. I, she's she's literally in a hospital. Child, right? What? We're in she's hospitals. Like <laughs> she was like head of science or something, wasn't she? <laughs> yeah, she. W- that's right. She was the junior head of science. Emphasis on the junior. Oh, really? Cosma, how old are you? I was picturing her as like. 20. <laughs> she is. She yeah. is. She okay. is 20. <laughs> yeah, uh Ozma like huffs and kind of like painfully rolls over onto her side. <laughs> oh, she's mad. All right, that's fair. Well, I'll go back to my my bed and do my drugs in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um and uh we'll just fast forward to like I don't know. A few days go by, everyone can take back a handful of HP, 4 HP, not a handful. Everyone can take back 4 HP. Man. I was about to say, a handful's like 20, right? Yeah, not 20. <laughs> um, but enough where you can get back on your feet a little bit and uh, head back out into the world. So, uh, Wilbur, where does this leave you? Where does it leave me? We have so many places to go, people to see. I mean, I do kind of want to check out the Magic Hotel, because that sounds pretty red. But, I mean, I don't know. I've never really been out west before. And now I have a job. Can I just quit this job? You're out of birthday wishes. I, well, I didn't run out of birthday wishes. They actually just expired because I didn't use all of them. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what I mean. <laughs> so, like, I think uh, we can get out of our contracts. Yeah, I don't know. We never signed contracts. It's fine. It was, it was a verbal. verbal sort of thing. And it was under duress because we were all very much under duress. You that's were under duress. Terrible. You volunteered yourselves. I no, was but stressed you out. <laughs> One could say you still are. <laughs> I've never not been stressed. We need to take <laughs> medical leave. You might, yeah. you, you might as well rehire the position. We, we might not ever come back. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess I'll call. I'll call. Can I call Blola directly? Or do I have to call sure. my dad? You call oh. Blola directly. I call Blola directly. <laughs> it's called Scotty P. Man Motion's phone, isn't it? They're one and <laughs> the same now. Oh, that's true, actually. That's I'll true. Call, yeah. I'll call his Blola to get in touch with. Or his Lola to get in touch with Blola. <laughs> That's too confusing. You just hear, you just hear, hello, Cosmo. Hello, Blola. I'm calling um, with the unfortunate news that I've take we've all simply taken too much damage in the workplace, um, and we're we are unfit for our positions, and therefore the <laughs> entirety entire security team is collectively resigning, effective immediately. I am so sorry to hear that. You had a 100%, no, 66.7% case closure rate. Oh, because we didn't close the robbery? Yes. What happened because of that? Nothing. 
We had to let everyone go. Oh. oh. Like, including us? Well, yes. You've been fired. We get, well, slash quit. Do, do we get severance? We should get um, severance and compensation. Well, I'll expect that directly in my bank. I'll uh, have to take it up with accounting. You should you should inform them that we did suffer severe workplace injuries, and we are not, in fact, suing the company. No. Oh, okay. Right. Yet. Not yet, unless my nephew as loses far as they know. <laughs> well, we're not, we're not we're not suing for our specific injuries. Okay. At this okay. moment. Right. So far. So far. Yet. Um. And yeah, so I guess you all gather your belongings, get in the RV. Um, do you come with Wilbur? I'm asking uh, both because I need to know if you're if you're going to be here for the next episode too. <laughs> that's very true. Yeah. Uh, uh, this, this uh, hotel, the this, this short businessman, is he going to be there? Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Is his op- like a, his office like a- is there. Oh, great. Now, yeah, I'll come with it because we need to square some things up, so that'll be fine. I'm going to need a corner office. He can give you one of those. Oh, Honestly, I know. Um, poss- possibly on the uh, the therapy floor. That's that's where I'll be going. Therapy floor? I don't need that. I'm perfectly sane up here. Mm, yeah, Everything I've seen makes perfect sense to me so far. That's I'm so, uh, what if I give you a gift card to the therapy floor? Would you go then? Oh, it really wouldn't help me. My my psyche is pretty spot on. It's true. Wilbur has yeah. incredible sanity. Do you need me? Yeah. Do you, do you need me to? What, you need like a partner to help with the sanity? You asking for like a therapy buddy? No, no. I've just heard you speak to God several times, and that's called faith. That's not being insane. <laughs> you insensitive jerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm so, I'm so sorry. My my apologies. Wow. My and apologies. uh, 2033. <laughs> you you drive uh the RV over to CNM Antiques, where uh you see Mouse. He's holding Klaus. He's got him like kind of strapped to his chest. Is he still um, unconscious? No, actually. Oh, thank God. And he he as the RV pulls up. He waves at you and says, "Hi, Uncle Chris." Oh, oh no! <laughs> say hi back. Say hi back. Don't say hi. hi. There you go. Wave at him. He's a kid. Well, I did. I, I hello. I wave uh, hi. <laughs> uh, Mouse checks his watch and says, "Okay, you guys are just about on time." Hey, Gromblo. And uh, Chris, you see your neighbor Gromblo come out and says, "Oh, hey, it's me, Gromblo, the neighbor again." I suffered from some serious radiation there a few days ago, and I can't yeah. quite figure out the cause. And then your dear brother, he said, Romblo, you old so and so, I got a new job for you. Gotta gotta watch the gotta watch the antique store. I'll, he's going to. You got two jobs, Crom. You had two jobs for a minute, Crumblo. I was hoping you would relieve me of the zucchini stand. Oh, yeah, tear it down. Happy day for no, just, no, just, don't, don't do that. I'm kidding. Don't do that. Jesus, don't do that. Just board <laughs> it up for a minute. Mouse is like, do it. Do it. No. <laughs> don't do it. Burn and it uh, if uh, if no one else has any business left in Little Rockefeller, you'll take off. What? <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> This feels yeah. so incomplete. I feel like we're missing something. Also, I'm just... I don't believe the stones. I don't know what to do about it, though. Well, we can all solve that later. I'm just asking if immediately there's anything else anyone wants to do. This is not a trick question. This is not like... I'm not trying to railroad anything. I'm just asking. Chris is good. Do, do, baby, I'm good. Yeah, I I'm guess good. good. Great. And the RV starts taking off away from Little Rockefeller, away from everything. And a couple hours into your drive, Iris, you're driving, right? Yeah. A couple hours into your drive, you're passing through some desert bluffs. And Iris, you feel something well up inside of you. It only takes a moment for you to realize what this sensation is. It's the same one that you felt 
when you were shoved out of that monster. Something's wrong. <laughs> this time, it doesn't take you long to realize what's wrong. Because you are completely removed from the RV. And all occupants look over with nothing but a yelp to see that the driver's seat of this speeding RV is completely abandoned. Uh, so we'll uh, pick up with that one next time. <laughs> We're careening down the highway with no driver. <laughs> Where'd you go? It's 65 miles an hour, no driver at the wheel. <laughs> This is oh, the no. worst day of my life. Oh my god. We got the fancy hotel. My fake <laughs> girlfriend ditched me. <laughs> <laughs>